Look at this beauty I get to decorate. I've done one similar for the same client. And this is actually going to be two. And I will leave the link below of the one I did previously. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of um, process video for this project. I'll probably just kind of do uh, stages. But boy, this is a nice one. Look at this. Supposed to have like about 16,000 miles on it, something like that. Isn't that a beauty? Woo! Obviously been restored. Yes, I'm a pattern guy, OCD perfectionist. So I gotta have a pattern and make it as perfect as I can get it. And then I just tape it up here where these, where these trim pieces are protruding, like so. And then what I'll do is I'll take my X-Acto and I'll cut out the panels. All right, here it is all cut up and attached. So when you look straight on, you're gonna see the lettering is gonna be all lined up. I feel more comfortable showing the client what this is gonna look like with a superimposed image of a photo on the, you know, take a photograph of the vehicle and then do a superimposed image of the design so they know exactly what it's gonna look like. Um, so yeah, I like to make sure the client knows exactly what they're gonna get, colors and everything. So this one's ready to be pounced. All right, the um, patterns are on the doors. This side over here was darker, so the, so the, um, ch the pounce pattern shows up better. But lunch break now. See, I just noticed, I always do this. I noticed that I missed this. Um, these lines right here when I perforated, I tell you, and I look at it like three or five times to make sure I didn't miss anything and I still miss them. Oh, well, do the best we can. All right, letters are on, drop shadow on, ready to scotch pad. Now, unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond my control, I wasn't able to get to the, to this distressing point as soon as I wanted to. Um, so it's taking a little more elbow grease, but it's working. So it's working, it's working. You just gotta really dig in to get that distressed look to where you like it. Okay, so they wanted this uh, cartoon that was drawn by their son on the back panel here, just like the previous vehicle. And so my idea was to take a print out of it, and I'm running out of ink, obviously, and then put Sorol, spray mount Sorol in the back, cut two holes for the tape, boom, boom. Now the only thing is, this plywood is actually darker than I thought it was going to be. So my idea was to place this in here, just do a quick drawing, and I'm hoping <laughs> I'll be able to see it. So let's see if I can. Um, so just draw them down the middle of this guy and see what happens. Ballpoint pin, flip it up. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I can't see it at all. Oh, that's interesting. Did I have this on the right way? Yeah. So, wow, that's a, that must be really dark. Yeah, that is a no-show. So I'm gonna have to go to plan B. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the animator's technique by just doing a flip like this back and forth. You see the image close enough. This needs to look close enough. I'm where I want to be with the opacity and the thickness. So I'm just going to go ahead and block this out. I also didn't bring my mall stick either, so I'm going to start from the very top, work my way down. 
so as that I don't mess up the paint. I just keep working down this way and rest my hand on the surface and make a cartoon. So this cartoon will be a little bit. Oh, I've got to say I'm using my number one. I'm using my number one Steve Kafka liner. This I got the whole set from five aught all the way up to the biggest. And these are the amazing for doing any kind of line work like this, any kind of caricature, cartoon, or just illustrations, things like that. Oh man, it's just, they are money. They're, they're, they're so easy to work with. You can just, you just float and fly with these things. It's so awesome. So if you, if you love to do any kind of illustration or this kind of fine line work, the Kafka line, I, I think he calls them liner. I, I keep calling them detail brushes, but I think officially they're called liners. I know there's long liners, um, but I'll leave a link for the below for the this br specific brush. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep whittling away at this cartoon, work, working my way all the way down until I get to the end. Okay, there's a finished cartoon. Next time I'll see him, um, I will have my scotch pad and knock that down around a little bit and distress it a bit. And then other than that, I think we're uh, all set. He's ready to roll. Fun little project. Hope you get the chance to do something like this too. Thank you so much for watching.